In the arid expanse of Mesa, Arizona, a new chapter in Australia's military aviation history is being forged. On July 29, 2025, the Australian Army's official X account announced that the first AH-64E Apache attack helicopter, designated AT-001, is advancing through final assembly at Boeing's Defense Apache facility. This milestone is not merely a step in a production timeline. It is a testament to Australia's resolute commitment to modernizing its armed forces in an era defined by geopolitical flux and technological complexity. The Apache, a battle-hardened icon of aerial warfare, is poised to replace the beleaguered Airbus Tiger armed reconnaissance helicopter, marking a strategic pivot toward enhanced lethality, interoperability, and industrial sovereignty. The decision to acquire 29 AH-64E Apache Guardians under the Land 4503 program was born of necessity. The Tiger ARH, operational since the mid-2000s, has been plagued by systemic deficiencies that have eroded its combat readiness. A scathing 2016 Australian National Audit Office report laid bare the platform's shortcomings, dismal availability rates, exorbitant maintenance costs, and an inability to adapt to the evolving demands of modern warfare. Successive government reviews underscored the Tiger's struggles with system integration and logistical support, rendering it a liability in high-intensity conflict scenarios. The Apache, by contrast, is a proven workhorse, its combat pedigree etched in the deserts of Iraq and the mountains of Afghanistan. Its selection reflects a sober assessment of Australia's defense needs in a volatile Indo-Pacific, where the ability to project power and coordinate with allies is paramount. The AH-64E Apache Guardian represents the pinnacle of rotary wing attack platforms. Equipped with the AN-APG-78 Longbow Fire Control Radar, upgraded target acquisition and designation system, and manned-unmanned teaming capabilities, the Apache is engineered for dominance in multi-domain operations. Its ability to interface with uncrewed aerial systems, share real-time targeting data, and execute precision strikes sets it apart as a force multiplier. The aircraft's 30mm M230 chain gun delivers devastating firepower, while its capacity to carry up to 16 AGM-114R Hellfire missiles and 70mm Hydra 70 rockets with APKWS guidance kits ensures flexibility across a spectrum of targets. Enhanced by composite rotor blades, a crash-worthy airframe, and full Link-16 integration, the Apache's survivability and networked warfare capabilities are unmatched. For Australia, this translates to a platform capable of operating in contested environments, from maritime littorals to urban battlegrounds, with unparalleled situational awareness. The assembly of AT-001, which entered its final phase on March 25, 2025, is a meticulous process. At Boeing's Mesa facility, skilled technicians are integrating structural components, electrical wiring, and advanced avionics, with flight testing slated for mid-2025. The first four Apaches are expected to arrive in Australia by year's end, with the full fleet of 29 to be delivered by 2029. Initial operational capability is targeted for 2026, with full operational capability by 2028. The helicopters will be based in Townsville, North Queensland, where new aviation infrastructure, training facilities, and maintenance hubs are being established to support the fleet. This transition is not without challenges. The Australian Army must maintain the Tiger ARH's operational viability until the Apaches are fully integrated a delicate balancing act given the former's persistent unreliability. Beyond its operational impact, the Apache program is a catalyst for Australia's defence industrial base. Boeing Defence Australia's seven-year sustainment contract, encompassing maintenance, engineering, training and logistics, will create over 230 skilled jobs in Queensland. Australian companies are deeply embedded in the supply chain, with Cablex producing wire harnesses and electrical panels, Axiom Precision manufacturing crafting avionics shelving and crew doors, Farah supplying vertical spar boxes, 
and Mincham delivering composites and fairings. Notably, Axiom's September 2024 contract to produce crew doors for global Apache fleets underscores Australia's growing role in Boeing's international supply network. This industrial participation not only bolsters national sovereignty, but also positions Australia as a key player in the global defense market, fostering economic resilience and technological expertise. The strategic implications of the AH-64E acquisition extend beyond the battlefield. In an Indo-Pacific region marked by rising tensions and great power competition, the Apache enhances Australia's ability to deter aggression and project power alongside allies. Its interoperability with the US Army, which operates the same platform, ensures seamless coordination in joint operations, a critical factor in coalition warfare. The August 2024 U.S. approval of a $300 million foreign military sales deal for sustainment services further cements this partnership, ensuring the Apache fleet's long-term readiness. For Australia, the Apache is not merely a replacement for the Tiger, it is a statement of intent, a commitment to maintaining a decisive edge in a region where strategic missteps carry profound consequences. As the first Apache takes shape in Mesa, the Australian Army stands at a pivotal juncture. The transition from the Tiger ARH to the AH-64E is more than a material upgrade. It is a recalibration of Australia's defense posture. The Apache's advanced sensor suite, formidable armament, and networked capabilities equip the ADF to confront the complexities of modern warfare. From countering asymmetric threats, to engaging in high-end conflict. Yet, the program's success hinges on meticulous execution, sustaining the Tiger fleet through the transition, integrating Australian-made components, and building the infrastructure to support a new era of rotary wing aviation. The Apache Guardian, with its blend of lethality and resilience, is poised to redefine the Australian Army's reconnaissance and strike capabilities ensuring that it remains a formidable force in an uncertain world.